Hi, I'm John Decker, PGA instructor and author of the book, Golf is My Life, Glorifying God Through the Game. Today I want to work with you on your full swing, and I want to talk about the flexibility uh, and, and a stretch that you can work on. Uh, this is something that you can actually do out on the golf course, you can do before your round. I would recommend, obviously, before you go out on the golf course, that you properly warm up. But sometimes it's not realistic. Maybe you're coming from work and you get to the golf course 15 or 20 minutes before your group's going out, so you don't have a t an opportunity to properly warm up. Or if you're in the middle of a round and there's a delay, maybe a rain delay, or you're waiting on a group in front of you, sometimes it's good to have a stretch that you can do, especially if you feel yourself getting tight. Um, one of the big things, and this is especially for men, men struggle a lot with their core flexibility. Um, also, I see a lot of women when they swing, they tend to slide, and a lot of people will slide when they go back. What you're actually trying to do is you're trying to stay connected to the ground, you're trying to keep your lower body stable, and you're trying to turn your upper body back behind uh, the ball so that that will create the coil. It's kind of like wringing out a washcloth. A great stretch for this is to take your left hand, put it out in front of you just like this. I'm going to take my right hand and put it underneath. I'm going to tilt my shoulders like I normally would, and I'm going to turn my back and shoulders just like this. Now, my left arm is only going to right here. I do not try to go any higher than that. So it's not about how high the arms go, it's about stretching. So imagine someone pulling my arm this way. Now notice when I do this, I'm not moving my head. That's one of the biggest mistakes I see people make with this stretch. So if you're going to do this stretch, you need to first of all do it in front of a mirror. Uh, I kind of I set up like I'm going to hit a ball and I kind of look at the ball to give me a reference of where my head is and then I stretch back like this and I try to get my shoulder behind the ball. If you can do this, this is going to give you a lot more power because the creation of the lower body stability and the upper body turn is where you store up the power. Remember, in your backswing, you're storing up in your, the power, and then in the downswing, you're releasing the power. So now what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to go ahead when I swing back, and I'm going to try to visualize that I'm doing my stretch, but I'm actually going to swing the club now when I hit the shot. I hit that ball nice and solid to be happy with that shot. I got my divot, but what I really focused on there was taking that left side and turning it back so I get my shoulder behind that ball very early. I don't do it way up here. So it's a, it's a stretch. You're only going from right here to right here, and you're using your right side to kind of help, help move your left side. Work on this stretch. It's going to increase your shoulder flexibility. Your core flexibility is definitely going to give you more power in your full swing.